In this video, I am going to show you how to design a controlled experiment and how to put it in a Google slide presentation. Start with the title slide with your name. And the next thing you want to do is show the question you asked. What is the effect on plant growth when plants are given water versus tea with caffeine? Next, show your hypothesis. I think plants will grow more leaves and longer vines with caffeinated tea. I think this because tea with caffeine acts like a stimulant in humans by making them more awake and giving them energy, so it might stimulate more vig vigorous plant growth. Next, show your variables. The control variables are what I kept the same. The same type of soil, the same amount of soil, the same size and type of pot, the same type of plant, the same environment which included the same air temperature and humidity, the same amount of sunlight, and the same amount of fluids given on the same days, and the same temperature of fluids. Next, show your independent and dependent variables. The independent variable, what I change, what I am testing, is the liquid with which they are watered, either water or tea with caffeine. My dependent variable is what I will measure. I measure the plant length of the main stem and the number of leaves over 10 weeks time. Show your test step by step. First, I took six cuttings from one plant. I rooted them in water over several weeks. When they grew roots, I planted the six plants in six equal sized pots with the same soil. I put them in the same location for 10 weeks. I fed three plants 50 milliliters of water three times a week, and I fed three plants 50 milliliters of caffeinated tea three times a week. Once a week, I measured the length of the plant stems and counted the number of leaves. I put this information in two data charts, one for number of leaves and one for length of plant stem. I took these measurements for 10 weeks and compared the results. Show your data next. I recorded the length of the main stems and counted the number of leaves in each group over 10 weeks time. I placed this information in a data chart. I then found the average increase in stem length and the average increase in number of leaves of the two groups. Now as you can see this is a lot of numbers to work with and all these numbers might look rather messy when I put them in a Google Sheet. So what I did was I put in the Google Sheet the average increase of the length of the, of the plant stem and the uh, for water and for tea and the average increase in the number of leaves for water plants and for tea and as you can see now I have much easier data to work with now I can put these in a Google chart and it will make a very nice graph so here you can see the averages are graphed this is the average increase in plants uh, stem length of the water plants and the tea plants. And here is the average increase in number of leaves of the water plants versus the tea plants. So now I can see that the increase of stem length of the tea plants over the water plants was 3.1 centimeters. And the increase in leaves of tea plants over water plants was 1.7 leaves. You next want to analyze your data, which means, what does my data tell me? My data charts and graphs show that the tea plants increased in stem length and number of leaves more than the water plants. The tea plants had 3.1 centimeters more of stem growth and 1.7 more leaves than the water plants. Now I'm ready for my conclusion. In your conclusion, you will, um, you will relate back to your analyzed data and your hypothesis. My results show that the tea plants increased in both length of stem and number of leaves more than the water plants over a 10 week period. My hypothesis was that the tea plants would show more stem growth and more leaves. Therefore, my hypothesis was correct. Upon th further thinking of this experiment, I wanted to add two statements, and here they are. However, this was not a very big data sampling. It would have been better if I had tested 10 plants in each group, or even maybe 30. The larger the data sampling, the more accurate the results. 
I also don't know if it was the caffeine in the tea that stimulated the plant growth, the acid in the tea, or something else. All I can say is that the tea plants grew longer and with more leaves in 10 weeks. I would like to repeat this experiment with more plants in each group over a longer period of time. Do not forget a citation page if you use pictures from the internet or information from the internet. You want to make sure that you include this at the end. I like to take my own digital images because then I don't have to cite anything. So you may want to do that also. So enjoy the project and I look forward to seeing your presentations.